Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at the best Blender add-ons for Arctic. As you know, Blender is a software used by a lot of artists for different purposes, so it's not surprising that there are add-ons that are designed for specific things as well. Last time, we looked at 10 add-ons used by visual effects artists, so today let's look at a different industry. Let's look at add-ons that Blender Arctic use. If you have a house or building designed in Blender and need a cross-section render of the walls, TechSec is an add-on that will give you a set of tools to achieve that. It is a great way to show the wall composition of your building and you can easily bisect the building using a plain tool that they have. This cross-section can be exported as SVG or PDF with more information about the building structure. Number two, Pro Align Tools. If you want to work efficiently, this Pro Align tool can be used to align multiple objects to any surface. You can use its guide feature to preview the final position of your objects and even adjust that before you confirm your action. You can use it to stack objects on top of each other. And for architects who want precision, you get information about how much you have moved the object. There are so many features, I cannot include them all here. Number three, Blender Home Builder. If you are an interior designer, Home Builder is an add-on you should not miss out. It started as a Blender fork and now it's a standard Blender plugin that comes with hundreds of assets you can use in Blender for interior design. You can use the add-on to even create manufacturing data for things like kitchen countertops and furniture. And the dimension is free to download. Number four, Quick Arch. If you want a fast way to make rooms with doors, windows and more, Quick Arch really speeds things up. You can change the position of the doors, windows, even after adding them. You can change the flip direction of the door, the design of the door, and more parameters. It's simply the best non-destructive way to, to make rooms. You can add a balcony, adjust its position, length, width, and more. The add-on also comes with custom objects you can use to dress up the interior, like furniture, pictures, and more. Number five, construction lines. In architecture, you have to make exact movements, rotations, and scales. This construction lines card modeling add-on for Blender is what will give you that exactness. You can draw meshes depending on blueprint scans, easily create bevel profiles and curves, and measure distances and more. Number six, interior essentials. You can't present empty rooms to clients. They will always want to see how the room will look furnished. And modeling everything takes too much time. Leverage over 600 professionally made models for activists from furniture, curtains, decorations, ceiling lights, and more. This add-on comes with its own asset management system called Flow that makes it easy for you to import assets into your scene. It has other tools like its painter feature that easily lets you scatter objects of vegetation into your scene. Number seven, perspective plotter. If you have image reference of what you want to make, perspective plotter will match camera angle, perspective, lens type, and more to make it easy for you to model your scene. You can easily adjust the camera to the reference using control points that you can align with buildings to get a better match. Number eight, angle tool. You don't have to be an architect to take advantage of this tool, but for architects, it's a time saver. Extruding around corners or even sharp corners is tricky in Blender. They always end up squashed and do not look correct. This angle tool can do the hard part of extruding corners for you automatically. Just use the angle radius and angle and the tool will take over. Number nine, physical starlight and atmosphere. For exterior renders, you may want to show off your design in different lighting conditions. Physical starlight and atmosphere provides a procedural and natural way for you. You have total control over how your sky, clouds, atmosphere, and more look. The add-on can also provide great ambient lighting for interior scenes. Number 10, Geoscatter. Geoscatter is one of those add-ons that fits any industry. VFX artists can use it to add detail to their scene and architects can use it to create beautiful landscapes for their exterior renders. It comes with hundreds of assets and its biome scatter feature is the most popular among Blender artists. Number 11, Materialic Material Library. Interiors come with different shapes and looks, so do exteriors. Don't use basic materials when producing high-end architectural visualization. Complete the professional look that will get you repeat clients using the materialic library. 
which comes with hundreds of hyper-realistic materials designed by architects for architects. Number 12, we have Gobo Lighting Textures. Your ArcVis renders should feel real and inviting. To achieve this, a neat trick is to add animated gobos that will add a warm feeling to your interiors and exterior shots, as shadows are scattered and casted on two different surfaces of your render. Number 13, we have tree and vegetation. Whether you are making interiors or exterior shots for your ArcVis renders, having no vegetation or plants in your renders is going to make your renders feel incomplete. Easily add the missing touch using vegetation's library of plants and trees from small plants to large plants that will give your renders a natural warm feel. Finally, number 14, we have water library aquatic. You will only see water detail like this in high paid architects reels because water assets like this are not easy to create or easy to find. But if you use Blender, this water library has all you could need for ArcVis visualization. Their assets are light yet come with the level of detail you only find in high-end renders. Thank you for watching. That's some add-ons I could find for architects. See you in the next video. That will be hopefully about making footprints using geometry nodes.